Well, thank you so much for having me uh, at Salam. Men uh, uh, Salam radiosunda xalo olganizda chon rahmat. Men o'tgan yilda biyaqa kelib ketgan, Batkenga kelgan mehmondan quvonishdan. Men o'zim Amerika Qo'shma Shtatlarining Qirg'iz Respublikasidagi elchisiman. An 2022-yilning dekabr oyidan beri o'sha xizmatda ishlab kelaman. Men bu yoqda ishlagan menga abdan jag'at. Men uchun bu chon siymiq. Butkul jashovimdagi bir chon siymiq ishimda eng negizgisi o'sha Amerika men Qirg'iz Respublikasining o'rtasida strong and growing for the last 30 years in security um, yeah i uh, Хомчулмен <gülüyor> and to respond to natural disasters here in Kyrgyzstan. Well, we're very focused on uh, trade issues uh, in particular. Which is a lot of uh, exports from Kyrgyzstan and exports from the United States. Yeah, having that infrastructure really is critical, uh, and it's one of the focuses of uh, what we do with the C5 plus one, the Central Asian countries plus the United States. Connectivity is the buzzword uh, to describe encouraging the ability to cross borders in a safe and secure fashion, but uh, with some uh, ease. Um, on infrastructure uh, the international development banks, and that's places like the World Bank or the Asian Development Bank, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, all focus on infrastructure projects. And what your listeners, viewers may not know is that the United States is the largest provider of funds to these uh, institutions. So we're the largest stakeholder in the World Bank. BRD uh, and Asian uh, Development uh, Bank. Well, this uh, region, the southern Kyrgyzstan, Bakken, Osh, and Narin, um, the U.S. Agency for International Development is particularly active. And what the focus is, uh, is on agricultural trade, agricultural trade. Um, so that means how can local producers, local farmers, find ways to increase their production, and also how can they find 
Well, that has been a real focus uh, for the United States. And, um, we worked through uh, the what we call the non-government organizations that are focused on people's problems, very specific issues that we have. We're working in Bakken with uh, some NGOs, as well as in um, uh, Ocean and the Rind. Um, another example, in Narin, um, we're working with dairy farmers uh, who uh, wanted to increase their production. So, U.S. farmers, U.S. experts um, work with Kyrgyz um, farmers and experts in order to look at how their cows can produce more milk, and then the farmers get more money. Yeah, I, I, I think we really uh, agree with the uh, So how do we go about supporting education, particularly in the United States? Well, there, if you get online, uh, there is uh, various websites that are all focused on that. I would tell your listeners you look at education USA, and that's a one stop place Learn about website Бүткүрүлүп 
Sure. Uh, this is a topic of a lot of conversation. <laughs> by legitimate travelers. You know, I know there are a lot of uh, Kyrgyz who were are interested in U.S. jobs, and there are a couple mechanisms, a couple paths. The one that is most widely Тогда Башка механизм бар, алдыган Америка дағы рамада дәтіл, алдыган ошол адам келіп бізге ешті персін деп ошында қызықса, жұмыш бергендер. Алар анда атайын чақыру, сұру талап берет, ошол арқылу барса болытты, бар үштерсе. Бірақ мұндайды біз көптілі анша қолдың 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 әлдердің көргейсіз. But we don't see many of those. Yeah, it, this is a really important Obviously, <laughs> In the public to understand what problems are out there and maybe how to solve them. But yeah, uh, uh, look, I'm so happy to be back in Boston. Uh, I came last year, um, I talked to a lot of people, I learned some of the concerns here in Bakken, and I'm glad to be back and talking to more people uh, and finding ways to strengthen the relationship between Bakken, the U.S. Embassy, the United States.